Now there's two pieces to an amazing golf swing. Most of these, for most players, have actually been trained out of your game. A lot of drills, working on getting the perfect positions, have actually inhibited your athletic motion and made it to where it's mostly arms. Let's talk about how to get rid of that and how to get this proper hip turn and tilt. And I'll try not to get this club stuck to my mic here and getting a lot of static, but I'll do my best. So I'm gonna put a club sticking out of my right shoulder kind of on my shoulder plane here. So if I was rotating level with the ground and just turning this way, it would be like that. Now there's two motions that happen in a good golf swing. Number one, as I turn to the back swing, this club gets pretty far back there when I'm looking from face on here. So the club isn't stopping here. I'm really getting that club behind my body. And then number two, what most players end up doing is they end up shallowing this club out and it would come into contact like this. Now when I do that, I'm standing up out of my posture and to get down to the golf ball, I have to flip it and I have to kind of throw it away from my body. What we do in a good golf swing or what all the pros are doing is as they come into the downswing, they're getting that club tilted down to the golf ball with some shoulder tilt. So you see how my right shoulder is much lower than my left shoulder. If I was to do that standing straight up and down looking at the camera, it would look like this. This is where I'm at in the golf swing at impact. I've just hinged forward and rotated to get there. That's kind of the secret to making your golf swing look pretty daggone good. I gotta get the club behind me, my turn behind me, and I gotta get my tilt to the right in the downswing. If you can do those two things, your swing's gonna look pretty daggone good. It's gonna look a lot better than your buddies. So here's the secrets to it. Number one, the hip turn. Most players have been told to keep this right leg flexed. I was told this, I believed this for years and it killed my distance, killed my, my golf swing. And as I turn my body in the backswing, I wanna keep kind of bending into this knee like that. So I'm keeping the knee forward, I'm rotating into the right hip and it gets really tight. Now, if I did that same thing with a golf club here and I do the exact same thing I just did, as I do that backswing, I can only get to about here. So I really can't rotate very far. It leads a lot of golfers to thinking that you're much tighter than you are. What I really wanna do is let that leg straighten and I wanna let this left knee kick in. Imagine someone was sitting on the ground right here and they had a little rope tied to your knee and they're pulling your knee toward this direction or right here kind of outside this golf ball. That knee comes in in the backswing and imagine they had a rope tied to your right hip and they're back here somewhere and they're pulling this right hip back and that leg straightens out there. Well, when I do that, watch this tight swing right here. This is my tight back swing. Watch when I do those two motions that I just did there. All of a sudden, I can get a great big back swing. So I'm not reverse pivoting or anything. I'm going ahead and staying in my posture, but I'm really getting that big turn as I go to the back swing. Now in the down swing, all I'm doing is reversing that. My hips and body open up and I get that right side bend to stay in my posture. That's gonna allow me to stay down and through, get rid of that standing up. That's gonna allow me to have shaft lean and be covering on top of this golf ball, coming from the inside, all these good things that we wanna have happen. We can make all those happen when I'm doing that drill that way. So practice those two drills individually and then make some full swings, recreating those same feelings and you're gonna hit some amazing golf shots. Let's go ahead and try it out. All right, I hit that one absolutely awesome. Right down the right center, really solid. Felt very effortless. Let's see what the flight scope says on that one. So on that swing, it looks like 120.3 miles an hour and 327.6 on the distance. So that is really great for me, especially with a range ball. They don't go quite as far as a real golf ball. That was a great struck shot. And there's a time where I couldn't get anywhere near that. I'd be lucky to get within 40 yards of that. And that's the same time when I was kind of locking in my knee, shortening that backswing to where I felt like this is as far as I could go. Once I learned the proper way to do it and to use the body, now this actually feels looser getting back here than this does. This feels really tight, this feels really loose. Now, in this video, I talked about how to use the knees to make this happen and the legs to get those hips turning. There's also some secrets on how to use your upper body. And I'm gonna play a preview from one of my very best, what I call the power turn. This is what I call the power turn in the top speed golf system. I'm gonna play a preview of one of my best videos that helps you to get that turn, not only from the lower body too, but then let's, let's finish it off with the upper body. That's gonna get you that big turn, freer swing. You're gonna go from feeling tight and quick 
and flipping and standing up to feeling like you're just free flowing motion, big turn, driving it way past your buddies. When you pair that up with what we talked about here today with the lower body and that shoulder tilt coming through contact, man, your, your swing is gonna look great. You do this, it's gonna look fantastic. So I'm gonna play a preview of that power turn video. All you need to do is go ahead and click the card that pops up on the screen somewhere up here. If you don't see one of those cards, go ahead and click the link down below in the description and you'll get instant access to that video. I'm gonna give you some of the secrets on how to use your shoulders properly in that one. So best of luck and let's go and get started. Most of the instruction out there today is killing you of your power. The things that they're telling you to do can make you hit it shorter and worse than that, not even any more consistent. I'm gonna go over some of the real secrets to powerful, consistent golf in this video. Let's go and get started. So here's some of the keys into making that happen. If you wanna incorporate this in your swing, let me break it down exactly what you should do. Number one, let's focus on the belt buckle. This is another big misconception. I wanna keep that belt buckle facing the ball so I can really stretch out my midsection and really get loaded up. I'm not a big fan of that. That's really gonna kill your distance. In your backswing, I wanna feel like that belt buckle rotates to the right and you really let your hips and legs be loose. Notice how my legs are moving here. I'm not trying to keep those rigid and tight or I'm really just taking all the speed out of my swing. All right, so on that one, I really felt like I let my belt buckle rotate back. And a good key to this is feel like your knees are loose. Feel like when you make your backswing. Piece number two, let's go ahead and rotate our shoulders. When I let my lower body rotate, my upper body can rotate a lot better also. So if I let my hips move, my shoulders will move more. So here, once I've got my hips working well, I'm gonna add to that my shoulders making a big rotation. On average, on the PGA Tour, players are getting about 120 degrees of shoulder rotation. I don't see hardly anybody getting less than 90 degrees. So it starts with the hips, knees nice and loose, allow the belt buckle to rotate, and then from there, so those are two really big keys. But here's the truth. There's one thing, and if you don't do this correctly, nothing else is gonna work. 